Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video, as you can see, we are starting with a little physique update, a video physique update of Andrew Jack, who is currently weighing 137.7 kilos, which is roughly 304 pounds, which is heavy, which is a lot, but really it's not that heavy for him, because as we all know, he was around 290 at Texas Pro in competition shape. Granted, he's not far away from competition shape right here, but no, he's not exactly show ready. He has some weight to lose, and when he loses that weight that he needs to lose, he's going to be probably at around same weight, more or less, even. So, do I see any progress, any crazy progress occurring in his physique? I don't think so. I think he's pretty much the same like he was last year, and... What else would you expect? I mean, he did so many shows, he really didn't have enough time to grow in between those shows, especially if he worked on his health. If he had any health phases, which I assume he did after each show, if he didn't, if he really pushed things, he would probably be really unhealthy, but I think he would progress more. Unfortunately, I don't really see any crazy progress in his photos and the videos, and this one also, I mean, you can see in this video exactly, you can see all the poses, uh, side chest, something that he really needs to work on to bring the, the thickness up, you know, especially side leg and, and side upper body, like overall thickness, like he's one of the biggest guys on that Olympia stage because he has such a big, such a huge frame, but really for his frame, he still needs to pack on some extra tissue to be as big as some of the guys like Nick Walker, like Samson, Dauda, like Hari Chupan. You can see that he still looks, I mean, he is humongous, but compared to those freak monsters, size freaks, he still looks a little bit stringy, like through the arms, through the legs as well, especially from behind and like from the sides in the, in the hamstrings and the back, you can see the lack of thickness, so he definitely needs to be bigger, that's his biggest flaw. I mean, yeah, his glutes could be more conditioned and his back as well, but that really shouldn't be his main focus right now. I'm sure he's going to be in the best condition possible this year, because Chris Sito is just figuring out his body, like they only did one prep, for the Arnold Classic, and it was a very short prep, what was it, like 6 or 8 weeks or something, so I believe they will figure it out, and he will be just overall better, like fuller and more conditioned uh, for the upcoming Texas Pro, where he will face Hunter Labrada, that's gonna be an interesting, uh, an interesting comparison, we'll see who's gonna win that one, I believe it's gonna be Andrew, but you never know, however, once again, what I wanted to see from Andrew is really packing on some serious tissue, if he grows to be the size of Samson Dauda, for example, then he can be really competitive at the Olympia, like he can fight for the first spot, uh, as he is right now, if he wins Texas and qualifies for the Olympia, I can see him battling for that, I don't know, top 8 again, something like that, I don't really see him jumping too many spots, maybe he can play 7th, maybe 6th, something like that, best case scenario, if he improves a lot, like in terms of hardness and conditioning, but if he wants to really jump places, he needs to pack on a lot more tissue, like 20-30 pounds of muscle, and that's gonna require a proper off-season. He cannot accomplish that if he keeps competing every 2-3 to three months, but, you know, he can do whatever he wants, he's a grown man, he can make his own decisions, I mean, I love to see him on stage, I love to see him compete, but I would also like to see him progress. Now, it's gonna be a very interesting battle between him and Hunter Labrada at the Texas Pro. Very different physiques. At the Olympia, Hunter managed to beat Andrew, but it's interesting that Andrew placed 8th and Hunter placed 7th. So, officially, these guys are rivals. And now they're doing the same show, Texas Pro. And it's a good show. It's always a good show, Texas Pro. Now, these guys are gonna be compared one next to another. It's gonna be very interesting to see who prevails. If I was a batting man, what would I say? I honestly have no idea. Now, Andrew Jack, I believe he has more potential than Hunter, probably, if he packs on that muscle that we're talking about. But then again, Hunter, he's already pretty much as massive as he needs to be. What he needs to improve on is bring better back and like better conditioning and just peak overall better. 
So we got a little physique update of Hunter as well, it's a physique update of his back and let's say conditioning at this point uh, and you can see here that like he is pretty conditioned for this point in prep, he has like I don't know let's say 6-ish weeks, something like that and I think his back looks better, I think his conditioning is also very good for this point in time, look at the Christmas tree like the lower back, like also the lats, I think he improved that back a little like, it's really hard to, to, to see the changes, because these guys are so big, they're so advanced, that, like, those changes that they make are really minute. But everybody is saying that Hunter really made crazy changes. I can't really see any crazy improvements, but I can see some improvements. And I assume that he definitely could have made uh, significant improvements, because he changed his diet a lot. Finally, he stopped feeding on protein powders and he went to real food so that's definitely a reason for why i believe he could have made progress but we'll see we'll see soon enough in a couple of weeks in like five six seven weeks you guys tell me exactly how many weeks are there until texas pro maybe it's less i'm not sure but soon enough we're gonna see these two guys on that stage and uh, it's gonna be a very interesting comparison once again did Hunter really improve that back? I think so, I think he did, I think I can see some changes here. Since I was talking about Andrew Jack, here is somebody I compare Andrew Jack to the most, another Nigerian, uh, Samson Dauda. Now, if you take a look at Samson, like, he's also a bit taller bodybuilder, not as tall as, as, as uh, Andrew Jack, but not as short as somebody like Hunter or Nick Walker or Harry Chopin or Derek Lansford. So definitely, as far as the top guys, he's one of the tallest guys. Him and Andrew both. Now, Samson, as you can see, is just way thicker. He's just way bigger. This is the fullness, this is the roundness that I want to see Andrew Jack bring. Now, here you can see, this is an update, this is a current update of Samson. And, um, like, you know, he's kind of like doing the, that grow into the show and get shredded at the same time type of approach. Because I know he took some serious time off after the Arnold Classic, and now that he's back on it, on the stuff, I'm sure he's trying to grow, he's definitely, I'm sure he's eating more than before, but when he added, you know, the, 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 special, the special sauce, he's gonna get, like, more conditioned and harder, and you know leaner and bigger at the same time and you can see that clearly every update we see this guy he looks you know thicker he looks fuller uh, he looks bigger but he's also getting more conditioned so i don't know until what point he's gonna keep on growing and getting fuller and, and rounder but i'm i believe he still has enough time a lot of time to actually get even bigger before he starts like seriously cutting down and you know getting shredded for the st for the stage for the olympia stage uh, whatever him and milos are doing it's definitely working out properly samson is looking freakier than ever this year i gotta give him that like he looks bigger than ever he didn't really specify how much he's weighing right now i believe they are doing the same thing that they did last year uh, they are not measuring his body weight in the entire prep like they can measure his weight on the day of the show but not throughout the prep because they don't want to be confused by the numbers. Milos is going only off of the look, and you know, whatever his approach is, is definitely working, because Samson is improving crazy, show after show, and this time around, this year, it might be the time when he becomes the best bodybuilder in the world. He can easily become the new Mr. Olympia this year. I have zero doubts in that, I'm sure he can do it. He looks like freaking Ronnie Collin, man, in, in, the, in this most muscular right here. Okay, yeah, maybe his back is not as good as Ronnie's, maybe his glutes aren't as shredded as Ronnie's. I'm not saying he's as good as Ronnie, I'm not saying he's new Ronnie or something like that, but, like, he, he is, for today's era, for today's bodybuilders, he definitely is standing out. And he reminds me of Ronnie, I gotta say, especially in the most muscular, so... Like, he's a really big bodybuilder, he has that big frame, he's tall, he's a big freaking man. So I believe he has all the tools, really. If he brings a little bit more shredded physique, a little bit more conditioned glutes and back, who can stop him, really? The only guy that I can see stopping him is Derek Lunsford, and we're gonna talk about him soon, not just now, but 
yeah, I think those two are the, the heavy favorites to win the Olympia. But who I would prefer to see win that show, it would definitely be Samson. Out of those two guys, it's definitely Samson. I like his physique. I like what he stands for. I like the classic lines. I like the fact that he's tall and that he has really good shape and that he's a freaking mass monster as well at the same time. So why the hell not give this man a title? I think he'll deserve it. We'll see. We'll see soon enough. Like I said, we're gonna talk about Derek Lanster. We're also gonna talk about Urs Kaledzinski and Quint Beastwood in the next video. I've got so many topics right now that I don't want to make one video out of all of them. I want to go over all of them nice and slowly, so I will stop after this topic and I'll make another video tomorrow. But now we're going to talk about Hassan Mustafa, who just posted his physique update days before the Orlando Pro, and he said that he was on zero carbs since Toronto Pro. And he's been coached by Chad Nichols. And you guys know that Chad Nichols is like a kind of a hardcore uh, prep coach. And he's taking that hardcore route with pretty much everything when it comes to prepping bodybuilders. If you guys follow Fuad Abiyad and his podcast, you may have heard Fuad talk about his experience with Chad Nichols. And he used to deplete Fuad like heavy. Like he was doing really low calories, really low carbs. And apparently he's doing that with Hassan. He's probably going to carb him up like crazy. We'll see if that's not going to backfire and he's going to get completely watery, which is something we are used to seeing Hassan on stage. Like usually he's he's off. He was on with conditioning maybe once or twice, twice, I believe. Uh, but we'll see what's going to happen this time around. As far as conditioning, let's check out this video. It's actually a video. I think his conditioning is improved. I definitely do think those zero carb days worked. I think he's more conditioned right now. You can especially see it in the glutes and hamstrings and the lower back. Look at the lower back. Look at the Christmas tree and the lats. And look at his back lat spread. It's actually really good. You wouldn't expect that from a guy with narrow clavicles. Now look at the lower back there. Look at the lats. Like he definitely looks more conditioned. And he's gonna get even drier when he completely dehydrates until the show. So I'm expecting Hassan to bring definitely a much better shape, much better package, much better conditioning than he did at the Toronto. And uh, yeah, I don't know what is his competition at Orlando. I believe he's uh, going to win this uh, easily and qualify for the Olympia, as he should. Uh, like, once again, is, is his conditioning better? Is it improved? I would say for sure, yeah. You can definitely see it in his lower back and a little bit in his glutes because that's his uh, worst area where he stores a lot of fat so that's where the fat will go away last but yeah he's pretty much ready once he completely dehydrates look at his back lat spread crazy crazy lat th crazy back thickness uh, once he's dehydrated completely it's gonna be definitely much more impressive so yeah i'm expecting him to win orlando and we're probably gonna watch this guy at the olympia whatever you guys think though Tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and stay tuned, subscribe for, the more, for more videos coming up in the future, and tomorrow I'll make another video about the current topics that I didn't want to talk about in this one video, I wanted to separate that in two videos, so guys, thank you so much for your attention, uh, once again, subscribe, all the best guys, and bye-bye.